In this video I want to show you how to create click outside directive inside Angular. And if you are wondering why do you need such directive, every single time when we want to close for example a model or maybe a tooltip or maybe a drop down menu, we must use click outside. This is why let's create together a reusable click outside directive for your next project. So here I already generated for us an empty Angular application and I want to implement our click outside directive with real usage and it will be our drop down. This is why what we must do inside our app component HTML, we must first of all create markup for our drop down. For example here let's name it div class menu container. It will be our container where we will add our directive. Inside this container we want to create our toggler. This is why here let's write div class menu toggler for example. Let's close this div and write inside some text toggle menu. And obviously if you want to you can use here icon later. After our div we must create our menu that we want to toggle. So let's close this div and inside our menu let's create several links. For example, let's name it div class menu item. This is just for testing. And obviously in a real project we will put real links inside these divs. So first of all here let's write news. Then I will copy paste it several times. And write here contacts. And here will be about. So this is how our markup is looking inside browser. And now we must write some CSS. For this I want to jump directly in style CSS, so I'm making this styles global, not inside some component. And first of all here we must style our menu container. And here we need at least some width, for example 200 pixels. We also want some nice background. And let's make here bigger font size, for example font size 20. Let's check if it's working, I'm reloading the page and we have nice greenish background. And now our items are bigger. Now after this let's create the next element and it will be menu toggle. And inside I just want some small padding, for example padding 10 pixels. After this we must create our menu and here we want to use different background. So let's create here background 333. After this we must write color, it will be white. And we must also create some padding, for example also 10 pixels. As you can see everything is styled nicely and we must create a menu item now. So what our menu item will have? First of all we need here cursor pointer and secondly some padding. For example 5 pixels and 0. And we also want here some hover on our menu item. This is why here let's write hover effect and here at least text decoration underline. As you can see in browser our menu is fully ready and now we can start writing TypeScript code. So how we will use our drop down? First of all here we have our toggle menu and actually it doesn't have anything with our click outside directive. But what we want here we want to attach here a click and let's name it for example toggle menu. And it must change some property inside our component. Let's name our app component TS. And here inside first of all we must create this additional property. And we can name it is menu opened. I think it is more clear. And here it will be boolean and by default menu is closed. And now here we can create toggle menu function. It is void. And we just want to change this is menu opened to not this is menu opened. Now we must write a GIF condition inside our markup. So we don't want to see our menu at the beginning. Here we must write ng if is menu opened. Let's check this out. I'm reloading the page. We just see toggle menu. I'm hitting here and we see our menu. I'm hitting again and we're closing it. So this is how you typically implement a drop down. But the main problem is here that we want to close our drop down when we're clicking outside. And this is exactly why we must create this additional directive. So now the question how it will all work. What I want to do to our menu container, I want to attach a directive. And this is super important to attach it to our parent. Why is that? Because actually we will check this native element. Which actually means our toggler must be inside and our menu must also be inside. In this case we won't trigger our click outside. 
This is why here I want to write click outside and this is our directive. And here we will write an output of our click outside when it will happen. So here I will write click outside and I will call here click it outside. And this is just a function that we must define. This is why here inside of component TS, I want to create clicked outside. And what we want to do here, we want to set this is menu opened back to false. Now it's time to create our click outside directive. This is why directly in source app, let's create a new file and let's name it click outside dot directive dot TS. And inside we must export our new class and this is click outside directive and we must on the top inject this directive. And here inside directive we must say what selector we are using. And in our case we must write inside string brackets and here will be click outside. This is exactly how we are defining our directive. We also should not forget to register this directive inside our module. In our case it is app module and here inside declarations we can write our click outside directive and obviously import it on the top. Inside our directive we must access first of all our element where we attached and secondly the whole document. This is why here we must write a constructor and first of all we want to get here our element. This is why private element equals and here we have our element ref and if you don't know it will give directly access of the element where we attached this directive and this is not all we also must inject here our document and we are doing it in specific way we are not writing just private document but we are writing inject with add inject and we are injecting inside our document as you can see this document is imported from angular common and after this we must write private document equals document. In this case inside this document we are getting reference to our document. And this is exactly the angular way to inject document inside a directive. The next thing that we want to do we want to attach a click event to the document. But we must do it only after our element was rendered. This is why here we can write implements and here after view init. So it's not on init because this is not enough. We want to wait until element will be rendered. And now after constructor we can create ng after view init. And here we want to write our subscription. Why subscription? Because we want to write our code in a Rigs.js way. Because this is the typical for Angular applications. This is why what I want to write here is from event. And inside from event I want first of all to give this dot document and then click. And if you don't know what is from event, this is a method from Rix.js which creates a stream from the DOM event. In this case we are using our DOM element, this document, and we are creating here a click event. Now every single time when we are clicking on our document we can do something. And what we want to do here, we want to filter our event. Because actually we want to check if we clicked inside our element where this directive attached or we clicked outside and then we must trigger the change. This is why here I want to write pipe and inside pipe I want to provide a filter. Now inside our filter we are getting our event. And here we want to make a check. And here I want to create additional function, for example this is inside and this function will return true or false depending if we clicked inside or not. And here I want to put an exclamation mark because if we are not inside then we should proceed. And for this function we must provide inside event.target and here we must write as HTML element because by default it is just an element and this is not enough and here target is our HTML element. Now let's create this function is inside and we know that here we are getting some element that we want to check. So element to check and this is the type of HTML element. And back we are getting boolean because it will return if we are inside or not. And we can simply check here that our element to check equals this dot element and this is the reference to the current element where our directive is attached. So this is our parent. And here we can write dot native element and this is directly DOM element. And now we are checking that this element is equal or it is the parent. So we are checking here this element dot native element. 
contains, and contains is a really nice method to check if we have a DOM element inside this specific DOM element. And here we can just throw inside our element to check. Let's save this code. And here, as you can see inside filter now, we are checking OK. If we are inside, we are not doing anything, so we are not going through filter. But if we clicked outside on our document, then we will go through filter. And here we can write a subscribe. And here inside subscribe, we don't need anything, but we want to make an output. Because as you saw inside our HTML here, we have click outside. And this click outside, we are handling outside inside our component which was triggered by our directive. So here inside subscribe we must emit the output. This is why let's here create an output. So here we have output and here we can name it click outside equals new event emitter. And don't forget that event emitter must be imported from Angular Core. And here the type is void because we don't need to provide anything outside. We simply say that we clicked outside and this is it. Now inside our subscribe we can write this dot click outside dot emit and we are not providing anything inside. And this code is really clean but we have a problem. Here we have a subscribe which actually means every single time when we attach this directive we create a subscription. Which actually means we must destroy this subscription at some point of the time. This is why here we can, after implements after view in it, write also on destroy, and we can handle destroy correctly. And for this we must create our subscription. For example, document click subscription. And here let's import a subscription, and we must also say or undefine it. Because actually by default we didn't assign anything here and it is not a subscription, it is undefined. But now I want to assign it here inside ng after view init. So we have here this document click subscription equals from event. Which actually means here we have our subscribe and we store our subscription inside document click subscription. And now we can write ng on destroy and inside this function we can destroy this document click subscription. But it can be null, this is why our code just unsubscribe won't work, so we must put here question mark dot unsubscribe. In this case it will be correct, because document click subscription does not exist at the beginning of our application. Let's check if it's working now. I'm jumping to our server, we don't have any errors. Now here let's try to toggle, everything is working. And now our menu is opened and we're clicking outside. And as you can see this code successfully worked. Why is that? Because actually we attached directive to our parent here. Now here we have this event for document click. And as you can see this is a rich.js stream and here we are filtering it. Which actually means every single time when we are clicking somewhere this subscription will be called. And we are filtering where we clicked. And after this we are just emitting subscribe outside to our component. And we also didn't forget to unsubscribe because it is super important to avoid memory leak. So this is how you typically implement click outside directive in the real project. And if you are interested how you can implement nested comments inside Angular make sure to check this video also.